Hello beautiful. Today I wanted to do this video and talk to you about one question I've been getting so much of over the last couple of months. And that is, do I need to have a niche to be a high ticket coach? There's so many ways to answer this and it's not a yes or no question. But what I'm going to do today is share my, a little bit of my journey with you so that you can see if that resonates with you, you resonate with that, maybe that might help you if you are trying to figure out what niche you would like to have or whether you even want a niche because you don't need a niche. But I'll show you why it is better for your business. So here goes. When I um, started coaching, I was a, an Etsy coach because I'm a fashion designer and I have a shop on Etsy and I noticed that so many women were undercharging, like ridiculously undercharging. And I thought, they have all these gifts. They're bringing so much joy to women with their clothes and their art and everything else. And it'd be really great if they got paid for the work because there's an underlying resentment when you don't get paid for your work, when you undercharge and play the victim so you can feel bad about sales. Okay? That's the whole story. So I worked as an Etsy coach for a little bit, helping women raise their prices. And then I also decided to become a life coach because most of the things that were happening, the reason why people were not raising their prices, had to do with life issues, relationship issues, health issues, you know, um, mindset issues. So I decided to just become a life coach. And as a life coach, I worked with women in all areas of life. I worked with a lot of attorneys who wanted to go from billing by the hour to creating premium packages and offers to sell to clients. I also worked with people who hated their jobs and wanted to transition to a job that they love. I worked with people who were struggling to lose weight. I worked with people who wanted to start their business or make their first six figures. It was around the gamut. It was health coaching, relationship coaching, leadership coaching, executive coaching, career coaching, life coaching, spiritual coaching, faith coaching, Etsy coaching, creative coaching. It was beautiful. It was lovely. I loved it. But here's what happened. I was working with so many different people and I was starting to get burned out. Even though at the time I was charging $7,000 to work with me. It was, you know, about 2017 and I had a package. It was six months and it was $7,000. And I still felt like I was spreading myself too thin. And my coach said to me one day, would you consider niching down? And I thought, I am too creative and too fabulous to niche. Who does that? Plus I'm too spiritual for that. God sent me here to work with all these people. And the thing I had to learn in that time was I am not God's gift to the world. I am God's gift to the people he sent me to serve, but I didn't realize it then. So at the time I fired my business coach because I thought, oh, she's trying to put me in a box. I'm too spiritual. I go with my spiritual downloads, whatever manifestation comes through, that's what flows through me. And I'm not going to box it up into some niche and fit somebody's story of what I'm supposed to look like as a coach. So I was a life coach for about two hours and I was pretty successful at it. And for a while, I was the number one coach on Google who was a life coach for women because people actually type in life coach for women. So if that's you, even though it's not a niche and it's just a title, it's still lucrative if you work it for your business. But anyway, back to my story. So eventually I decided to become a business coach because I thought I have a business background. I've had a business for about 15 to 20 years. I think I know I can help women to make money because I'm really passionate about women getting paid well for the work they do, okay? I know we're here to serve, I get that. And we're also here to get paid for our services. One of the things that I struggled with was if I niche, I am going to leave behind a whole group of people and who is going to support them. If I niche, I am saying no to a lot of money on the table because I'm charging $7,000 for six months for life coaching and I'm supporting women in all areas of their lives and they're getting great results now who's gonna be there for them and I'm gonna cut everybody out and just have this small fraction of people that I'm gonna work with I don't know if I can do that so I was scared and I was nervous but I thought you know what I'm gonna do this so after dating relationship coaching for a while dating career coaching for a while you know I did six months here six months there I decided you know what after two years I was gonna be a business coach because that was in my blood I was born to do that so I niched down to business coaching, but I became a business coach for women entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants, because again, I wanted to have a broad spectrum. And that went really good for a while. But here's the thing, I couldn't do my marketing. It was difficult for me to market, to create a message that fit entrepreneurs, you know, all the attorneys, the accountants, the chiropractors, and then the coaches, all the coaches, and then the consultants. 
it was a lot. At one point, I actually considered getting three different blogs and three different email lists, one for consultants, one for coaches, and one for um, entrepreneurs. And I thought, this is crazy. I can't do this. I need to be able to focus so that when I talk to people, they know I'm talking to them. But again, it was too enticing to have all these three segments to work with because I thought if I drop one, that is like basically 40% of my target audience. I can't do that. But after a lot of prayer, <laughs> trying to figure out the wisdom to see who I'm really here to serve, I decided to go with female coaches, spiritual women coaches, women who walk by faith and not by sight, coaches who are bored with being afraid, okay? People who are bold and want to step out in faith and build the business and actually serve the people that they're called to serve and not think they're here for everyone because no one is. And so I decided to narrow down to women coaches and I realized something really interesting happened. All of a sudden, I was able to dial in my messaging because now I could talk to one set of people. Marketing became super easy and fun because now my niching was this one group of people. I knew exactly what they wanted. They wanted to make multiple six figures and seven figures, and they wanted to serve. They're here to serve the heck out of the people God called them to serve, and they want to get paid for it without apology. So it became easy. I, had, I was able to position myself as a high ticket business coach for these women because I knew exactly who I'm talking to, who I serve, what I do with them, how we do it, the results we co-create together, and I know their language. I'm also a spiritual woman coach, so it's easier. Also, I realized it was able for me to be myself. I was able to bring all of me, my creativity, which is an extension of who I am in the world. So my business became my art. I'm able to bring my art, my, my creativity, my fun, my joy, everything, my passion comes with me to my coaching business because now I'm basically speaking to myself. So it became, everything became easier. I was able to create packages and offers that create the results because those were the results I was creating in my life. And I'm not saying that you have to be in a, choose a niche that you're growing in or that you're working in. It doesn't have to be that way. I also have a health coaching business. So in that business, I niche down to women entrepreneurs over 40 because I'm also a woman entrepreneur over 40. But that wasn't the reason why. It was because I knew that I could support those women to do the thing that they wanted to do, which was to balance their hormones and lose weight. So again, I had to niche down in that business. And I, I struggled with that too because I wanted to help everyone, but I can't. So again, back to this business. In this business, I decided spiritual women coaches because I realized as I was moving up the revenue ladder, it became easier to figure out where the cracks were in my business, what problems there were, where the bottlenecks were. Because when you increase your revenue and you scale your income and your profits, you're also scaling whatever problems you have in your business. You're also scaling whatever issues that are going on in the business, whether it's with your team or with yourself or with your website or with your clients, like whatever the bottleneck is, it amplifies it. Scaling amplifies everything. It's like the big glass mirror that shows you where all the zits and pimples are. That's what scaling does for you. Because you have to show up more, be visible more, be more vulnerable in your marketing, in your messaging, in your selling. And mission helped me to stay put and be more focused, that 100% focus, that niching down focus helped me to be able to say, okay, this is how I'm gonna market. This is how I'm gonna sell. These are the three consistent things I'm going to do every day. I don't have to do everything. When you're trying to scale your business to multiple six and seven figures and you haven't niched down deep enough, you speak to everyone. You do all of the things. You stress yourself out. You give yourself acid reflux and heartburn and palpitations. And it's not necessary. If you think you can do all of that and still live with the palpitations, the, the, you know, the stress, then yeah, you don't have to niche because I completely respect the idea that as a spiritual woman coach, you do what floats through you. But if you're still waiting for the universe to send you a sign to niche, this is the universe sending you a sign. If you're still waiting for your spiritual download on the meditation um, pillow so you can niche, this is the spiritual download that you've been waiting for. It makes life easier. Scaling amplifies everything that's going on in your business and you want to make sure that when you niche down and scale, 
you only bring in the good quality stuff. It also helps people to find you easier. It helps you to get more referrals. It helps you to make more money in your business because this is what happens when you niche down in a high ticket business. The market loves specialists and the market is conditioned to pay you for being a specialist. So when you repeatedly work with the same people doing the same thing over and over again in your signature system, your signature offer, it doesn't have to be boring. Put yourself in it, put your personality in it, put your passion in it, put all your gifts in it. And then you can focus on actually serving those people really, really deep because the deeper you go, the wider your service is. When you're serving all the world, your service is half hazard. It's not, it's not very powerful. But when you're working with one group of people and you're going deeper and deeper with them, the effects, the ripple effects of those in the world are wider and wider and wider because they get the best of you. They get the best of all the gifts that God has given to you. And that's what I see in my business. And that's what I want for all women who are here called to serve. But it's not my saying whether you should niche or not. Do you need a niche to be a high ticket coach? Of course not. You don't. No one needs a niche. You can be as flowy, as free as you want to be, as long as that's the ease that you want in your business. But if you want more structures, more systems, more support, that accountability, niching is the best decision you can make to create that multiple level of revenue, income, and profits that you want in your life and in your business. It just gives you so much ease, more flexibility, more time freedom, because when you know who you're talking to, what you're talking about, and you have a calendar of content that you can create for a whole year because you know exactly what to say to your people because you're in their head, your life becomes so much easier. So this is not a video encouraging you to niche or saying why you should. It's my story, my journey. And if you resonate with that, then you can click on the playlist below where I talk all about niching and the four types of profitable niches that work for all coaches, not just life coaches. And you know, the four groups for me, I think are money, which includes business, career, executive, executive leadership coaching, any kind of coaching where you help women to create wealth, um, keep wealth, make wealth, invest wealth, share wealth, or make money in any way, shape, or form is money. The second one is health. People want to either lose weight or get well, okay? So health is a big niche, money and health. The next one is relationships. People want to either get into a relationship or get out of a relationship. And the next one is really the spiritual, intuitive, mindset, life niche, which works for you if you know how to work it. So I go deep into what niching is, the, the four best niches that there are, how to make it profitable, how to make it work for you, and how to niche down even deeper to make life easier and to make your service more powerful for your clients. So if that's something that you want, get that down in the description. I'm going to link that down for you below. And if you want to go deeper with this and work on your messaging, your marketing, your positioning, your niching and selling your high ticket coaching offers, then apply to work with me. I have my divine intuitive millionaire experience offer and I have my high ticket sales experience. So apply to work with me and let's see which one of those two offers fits you right now. Do you want to master sales confidently and sell with ease? Or do you want the whole works? Do you want to niche down? Do you want to position to message, market, and sell high ticket coaching offers for $25,000, $50,000, $100,000? It's been good having you here. Again, my name is Mimi Davo, and I'm a high ticket business coach. I support women, women coaches, spiritual women coaches, to co-create profitable high ticket coaching boutiques so they can confidently sell high ticket offers. Hit subscribe, like the video, and let me know in the comments what you resonate with most in this video. It's been good having you.